I did have a speech, but I'm not going to read a speech. And all I can tell you is coming to these meetings are just super. And when I can see somebody like Howard Young sitting in the audience who really rallies us and encourages us, and uh, Howard and John Morley started a golf tournament in Atlanta, and really from ashes this year, we had fun and raised $140,000. I'm not sure if all the fun came from the beer that Howard supplied or it was genuine enthusiasm. But really to see new friends like Patricia here and Dick and hopefully you folks see those shepherds in the rear and you see what the industry can do. and. You know, I always, I won't say I always listen to Michael Bassoff. I, I, I listen pretty good. But we, we know that we, we have to raise the money. And really, when you're raising money, it starts from a penny, you get a dime, you get a quarter, you get a dollar, and it really just rolls on. And really, that's, that's what has happened. You know, How, Howard and myself uh, really tried to kick this off last year. And as far as I'm concerned, it turned into spades. It turned into spades to have clinical trials. So hopefully next year, we would need it dozens more tables of just people wanting to tell the same stories. And to have people like David Lane, who's on our committee, to agree to put a million and a half dollars, that, that's a lot of money. That, that will be gone to good juice. I'm sure once, Liz calculates everything. I mean, between the golf tournaments, we've got to be about five to 550 to 600,000 from a little golf tournament. And so really, when I look at this event again, somehow between Michael and all of our people, it will easily surpass $2 million. That's a lot of treatment, that's a lot of life, and that's a lot of hope. I've always kind of used this phrase, if not me, then who? And I just think everybody has to keep thinking about it. If not me, then who? Because that's really how I, I, I do everything. I, I, I think we're moving the needle on pancreatic cancer. We see what's happened in breast cancer when we could get the money to push that needle. And I just keep repeating in my head, if not me, who? And then I answer myself, talk to myself and say, the who is each one who's in this room. The who is the inner strength we must develop in fighting against this enemy. The who is your business, your friends, neighbors, that can help us rally and fight this dreadful disease. The WHO is an entire mattress industry that's united to fight pancreatic cancer. I've never really heard of a whole industry stepping forward to fight one disease. We can beat this disease. I believe Dr. Tuvison and Dr. Von Hoff would tell us to we're blue in the face that, again, it really just boils down to money. And there could be 10 or 12 good ideas. Some years there's no money for one. Maybe some years there's money for two. So I think in my mind, being that I always like to get to the point, I think we need to think more companies and individuals that will have to think about what they can do. And I just think it's important that when we start our annual budgets, let's start planning. Let's not wait till we're in the middle or the end. And let's look at it like this. It's real simple. If last year I gave 5,000, then this year I'm gonna give 10,000. If this year I was able to bring two people and friends, how about next year you bring four? 
Because the more people are in this room, the more our voice is going to be heard. If you gave 50000 the same mathematical formula applies here. <laughs> you come in next year with 100000 I think we just have to brainstorm more ideas. We can win this war on pancreatic cancer. And one thing I've mentioned earlier, and this is something we're all going to have to work together on, and, and, and I guess uh, Dr. Trent and, and Dr. Von Hoff, you know, they probably planned this. Next year is the 10-year anniversary for TGen. I'm proud to say it's also the 10-year anniversary to the Cena Magowitz Foundation. Well, you know what that means. Big fireworks are going to be happening. And we'll have to just blow the lid off of that and really make a 10-year anniversary something that we truly, truly remember. And I think we just have to remember the saying, if not me, then who? And, and I don't want to end on a, on a sad note, but I, I just think it's a, a note for me personally I, I do want to end is, you know, Derek was supposed to be our MC. And Derek was having his own battles, but he was still coming. And uh, Derek's father had pancreatic cancer and had a valent fight with it and lost it. <laughs> so, just stick with the line. If not me, then who? And I'd just like us all to think about Derek and what he's going through, and thank you very much for coming.